Did you have a good breakfast? What's your name? What's, What's your name? name? My name's John. What's, What's your, your name? name? What's your name? My name's John. My name is Barbie. What's your name? In a different context, What's David Tudor name? said that each piece that I write, I start from zero. In einem anderen Zusammenhang sagte David Tudor, I ich finge jedes Stück bei Null an. In meinem Denken hat weder ein Stück zum nächsten geführt, noch hat es von Stück zu Stück einen Fortschritt gegeben. Mir ist es vielmehr darum gegangen, etwas zu erfinden oder etwas Neues zu entdecken. Neuerdings bin ich ziemlich bekannt geworden. Ich werde hier und dort in eingeladen, um Vorträge zu halten oder Konzerte zu geben. Aber immer stärker wird mein Wunsch, inkognito zu leben oder gesellschaftlich wieder der zu werden, der ich war, als ich Neues entdeckte. Wenn man mich dauernd reden und konzertieren lässt, kann ich keine Entdeckungen machen, weil ich verpflichtet bin, das zu tun, was ich bereits getan habe. Ich möchte in den Winkeln herumstöbern, ob ich nicht dort etwas finden kann. And performing all the time, I can't make a discovery because I'm obliged to do what I did already. Hmm? I want to look around in the corners <laughs> and see if I can find something. What's your name? I love you. You do? I like you too. What's your name though? To me, we do what In unserem Leben tun wir scheint's, wozu wir selbst uns auffordern oder wozu jemand anders uns einlädt. Eben jetzt hat man mich gebeten, ein Musikstück zu schreiben. Dadurch werde ich sozusagen zu einem nützlichen Mitglied der Gesellschaft. That makes me so to speak. Um useful member of society. What's your name? My name's John. What's your name? Every time the phone rings and people ask me what my name is, I, I always say cage like a birdcage. Hello, Harvey. Ich tue nichts als Reden und Schreiben. Und wir wissen doch, dass Reden und Schreiben wirkungslos ist. Und Musik ist noch wirkungsloser. Spiel zwei Leuten irgendeine dir liebe Musik vor und frage sie hinterher, was in ihrem Kopf vorging. Ich glaube, man kann in ein Konzert gehen und genauso dumm herauskommen, wie man hineingegangen ist. Was man von meiner Musik, meinem Denken und Schreiben hält, ist entweder ganz enthusiastisch dafür oder ebenso heftig dagegen. Eine Zwischenform scheint es nicht zu geben. And there doesn't seem to be an in-between or a crescendo, so that this doesn't stand out from it. That's better. And then rap. I mean, 
mean the next one. Oh, then, then of course, yeah. Yes, that's, that's coming better. More like a whisper. Oh, uh, just nothing. Yeah. And then a little louder. That's right. And now more. And now more. And now the most. Wash dishes, wash walls. I was uh, making advertising. Ich habe schon alles gemacht: Teller und Wände gewaschen, Reklame und bibliothekarische Forschungen betrieben. Erst seit ich 50 Jahre alt bin, lebe ich von der Musik. Allerdings nicht vom Komponieren, sondern von musikalischen Vorträgen und Aufführungen. The first question to ask is what you would like to do with the tape, with the sounds on it. Well, do you want to? No, what I want to know is not what I like to do, but what what can be done. They can be modulated, either amplitude ring, modulated, or um, we could use them to frequency modulate an oscillator. Ring modulated, or frequency modulated. Hmm? That is, we, we can use them to frequency modulate. But, but I suspect when I see all these uh, knobs and holes and whatnot, is that there is a finite number of them, and that I could deal with them in relation to the E King. Probably it's the glue, <laughs> whether or not it will work. And I'm not a craftsman. So we have nothing in this country that we can be unashamed of. Wir haben nichts in diesem Land, dessen wir uns nicht schämen müssten. Nicht bloß nach meiner, sondern nach vieler Leute Meinung ist unser wahres Geschäft deshalb die Revolution. Als ich meine Schriften für mein erstes Buch sammelte, bezeichnete ich sie insgesamt als Silence, Schweigen. Ich glaube, das beschreibt mein Werk am besten. Mit Silence meine ich, sich von seinen eigenen Intentionen befreit zu haben. Ich admire my former thinking 
In vieler Hinsicht bewundere ich mein früheres Denken mehr als mein gegenwärtiges. Vielleicht, weil ich immer stärker bemüht bin, mich vor allem sozialen Problemen zu öffnen. chance operations, I found the words and syllables which make up these texts, largely from Merce Cunningham's book, Changes. Die Worte und Silben dieser Messostics Ray Merce Cunningham entnahm ich vermittels Zufallsoperationen großenteils Merce Cunninghams Buch Changes. Außerdem weiteren 32 Büchern, die Merce Cunningham aus seiner Bibliothek ausgewählt hatte und die für seine Arbeit als Tänzer und Choreograf besondere Bedeutung haben. Wegen der Länge des Namens Cunningham entschloss ich mich nach einigen Versuchen, nicht Sätze zu formulieren, sondern jede Zeile aus einer Silbe oder einem Wort zu bilden. Ich druckte sie mit Letterset, wobei ich jedem Buchstaben eine andere Schrifttype und Größe gab und die Lettern einander waagerecht und senkrecht berühren ließ. Ich wollte, dass der Text zusammenhalte wie der Körper eines Tänzers. Hierbei erwies sich die Länge des Namens als nützlich, weil etwas entstand, das wie eine Figur aussieht. Because it made something that looked like a figure. Short, stead, mucon. Dance, lassine, and the witch calrician girl. French, sepatex gel, me. Mere, the pre crown, we. Ots academy, move, li ilarsim, charial, movement. made a number of changes in my music as the time has passed im laufe der zeit habe ich in meiner musik eine anzahl verwandlungen vorgenommen als ich erstmals mit zufallsoperationen arbeitete wollte ich eine musik produzieren die nicht meine gefühle oder ideen ausdrückte deren klänge vielmehr mich und insbesondere meine vorlieben und abneigungen verändern Dank genau und gewissenhaft ausgeführter Zufallsoperationen entdeckte ich, dass ich Dinge tatsächlich mochte, von denen ich geglaubt hatte, ich möchte sie nicht. Und so wurde ich, anstatt mich zu einem hochkultivierten Musiker zu entwickeln, 
wirklich immer offener für die verschiedenartigen Klangmöglichkeiten. Im Bereich der musikästhetischen Erfahrungen gilt meine individuelle Vorliebe infolgedessen weder meiner eigenen Musik noch der eines anderen Komponisten, sondern den Klängen und Geräuschen des Alltags. of indeterminacy had begun, for instance, in those time length pieces, 34 minutes, 46.776 seconds for a pianist. That, Where? Is that the one uh, which David played in, with me. in, in Bonn? No, in Donau Eschingen. In 54? Yeah. Right. And I played with him. 17. October 1954. Der amerikanische Pianist David Tudor spielt in Donau Eschingen auf dem präparierten Klavier. Instead of specifying the piano preparation, I not only uh, specified it roughly with regard to categories of materials like plastic, rubber, metal, and so forth. Leaving in this stück 34 minutes 46,776 seconds for a pianist. Another element. Bestimmte ich das Präparieren des Klaviers bloß im Groben nach Materialkategorien wie Plastik, Gummi, Metall und so weiter, wobei ich dem Interpreten die Entscheidungen überließ. Dadurch kam ein weiteres Element in die Komposition, nämlich die Freiheit des Interpreten. Dem Interpreten Freiheit zu geben, interessierte mich immer mehr. Und gibt man sie einem Musiker wie David Tudor, führt das natürlich zu ungemein schönen Ergebnissen. Wird Freiheit in dessen undisziplinierten Menschen gegeben, die nicht, wie ich es in so vielen meiner Schriften formuliert habe, bei Null beginnen, und damit meine ich die Abwesenheit von Vorlieben und Abneigungen, die also noch keine veränderten Individuen geworden, sondern Menschen, mit ihren jeweiligen Vorlieben und Abneigungen geblieben sind, dann ist es natürlich sinnlos, Freiheit zu geben.
See, the paper has worked quite a bit. The paper has worked quite a bit because of these pressures. First, it has gone through the press like he is here. And here, so that I, I'd rather stay with him simply. It's that actually on this one, on most proofs, it's short. So I could never really get it in. I don't know what happened here. But if you would follow this one exactly, it would be so sweet. So I wrote, um, after the fire, what shall we do? First, the next step. After that, another. We're alone. The music is difficult to play. We must work at it. That's all I see. Oh, the point of these needles. Uh, Manche nehmen mich als Philosophen ganz ernst und sagen, ich sei ein guter Philosoph und ein Amateurmusiker. Andere halten mein Denken für absurd und sagen, ich sei zwar kein schlechter Komponist, aber als Philosoph bloß ein Amateur. But just an amateur philosophy. <laughs> When I think of a good future, eine gute Zukunft enthält für mich fraglos auch Musik. Freilich nicht nur eine Art Musik, sondern alle Arten. Doch diese Musik liegt jenseits dessen, was ich zu beschreiben oder mir vorzustellen vermöchte. This one, we, uh, we were the first to prove that it's edible. We ate it by mistake. <laughs> Birdcage, 12 tapes to be distributed by a single performer in a space in which people and birds are free to move and fly. <laughs> Do you Can like you that? Can you imagine a concert hall with birds flying around? Well, that's what I'm imagining. But I'm also suggesting that it could be outdoors, without saying so.
What do you do about breathing? I never do anything about it. I just try and hold it as much breath as I can because I was never tutored. But Yoko, uh, she knows a bit about, training. she went through the training bit for the voice and did operatic training, so you she knows about really breathing, yeah. Well, that's operatic, you know. In opera, you have to carry your voice uh, and uh, keep it for a long time. Like, you have to be yeah. on the stage for 30 minutes or something. So you learn a way that uh, you bring it... But I don't have any technique like that. No, I don't either, but no. only the technique of well, having done it many times. You know? Well, the only technique I have is the fact of having done it when I, once I decided I'm going to be the singer or a singer yeah. around about 15. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering, why would girls have higher voice than men? <laughs> but then I noticed people like uh, the Japanese emperor and that, anybody, or Hitler, who's somebody who's in a very highly pressured situation, usually has a very higher high voice. voice. And it seems like, you know, when you somebody was strangled or something, you're like, ah, ah, and you have to make sort of higher voice. And it's almost like, you know, because the woman is so suppressed in the society, so that they have no choice but to go higher, you see, because you can't relax. Is that what it is? Now, if you can relax your vocal cords... Well, is that why I become a bass? <laughs> yes, you're very relaxed. If you can... But sometimes relax you're more your relaxed, your voice goes lower. Yes, yes. That yes, happened yes. to us. Well, I just go very, very low. Yeah. Oh. Ohm. It's beautiful. It's like ohm. Yeah. Don't you think? Ohm. If your voice is bad, let it be bad. Yeah. Because you have to accept life, you know. Right. Life no, is I agree with you utterly. God on his feet, though, really, that's what he does. is an extension of what we of what we are don't you think mm, yes. so to record sometimes I, I guess you must do it as well i use different microphones for for different songs well i've al always used yeah. one but now since well, you i'm make going some to be singing so yeah. much i'm going to use and if three. you get old microphones you've never heard me sing no, well, are no. you going to sing no. for us no i don't think i will because i it's with the microphone I should sing, and I don't have a microphone. Yes, I understand. I see. see, so you're like the spirit. The microphone actually acted as a vocal cord right, to the right. spirit, you yeah, know, right, and that's what right. you're doing. I could do a little for you, but I don't think it'd mean anything for you. Well, you, everything you want means me something. To do yeah, it'd be nice just to mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. I like that. Do you like it? Yes. Got right through to me. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I just go on and on for hours. Ah, uh -uh. yes. Sir. Oh, I hope so too, Minna. I have th this month before going to Europe. But I must also, you see, the film is being made, and on top of that, I must make a new composition. And I'm proofreading the orchestra piece, but I'm, I'm thinking of it all the time. And I'll call you later today, if I may. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh.
people who expect to hear something in my music are often um, put off by that inclusion of the theatrical. Wer in meiner Musik etwas zu hören erwartet, wird durch das Theatralische in ihr oft abgestoßen. Ebenso wie derjenige, der in meinen Vorlesungen etwas über Musik zu vernehmen trachtet, meint, er habe sich geirrt, wenn er etwas über Mao oder Pilze zu hören bekommt. Dies alles resultiert freilich aus meiner wohl schon 25 Jahre alten Überzeugung, dass wir Musik schreiben, um im Bewusstsein eine Revolution zu erzeugen. So habe ich anfangs gedacht. Heute würde ich trotz all meiner Skepsis sagen, Musik könnte und müsste die Revolution in der Gesellschaft vorantreiben. I never found this many in myself ever. No, it's a, it's, a, it's a big find. And this was how many pounds? I uh, think it's a, uh, I got 18 and I had three sacks, no four sacks from this mm. place. So that's probably about nine pounds. Isn't that marvelous? Would have been nine pounds. You'll be on my annual list now, John. <laughs> well, I, I think a year from now, instead of uh, taking any other engagements, I'll consider that we have a date. How's that? Well, you, you only have to come for about a week and uh, say between the 18th and 24th of May. I'll refuse all other engagements. Work around that and um, you'll, you'll really enjoy it. <laughs> That's the only way you can get something like that done. That's true. She's worked a whole year on it. And I finally made a text. The uh, text is also presented as a lithograph with, in my handwriting. And then I use the chance operations so that the texts go over one another and become uh, unreadable. And so they'll be printed on a tissue that overlays the mushroom and which gives the scientific information by Dr. Smith oh. and the name. Yeah. Then being able to read it, print it, then you can look for it in the handwriting as though you were looking for mushrooms is the idea. <laughs> or to get a similar experience here mm -hmm. of hunting. Once when I was in Ann Arbor, uh, Dr. Smith gave me an enormous puffball that had been brought to him. I cooked it for a um, hundred people and I made a kind of lasagna. Mm -hmm. I made a sauce of that red trichloma together with um, Marasmius aureades that had more flavor than the puffball. Yes. And then made layers of the puffball and that sauce and some cheese, the Monterey Jack, you know, the bakes and the <laughs> And it worked out very well. And ever since then, I've tried to, to repeat that. And I only get rubber in the end. <laughs> I don't know what, what I did the first time, but I did something about either the heating or... Uh, there was something that I didn't realize I was doing that worked. Mm -hmm. And since then, I've never been able to do it. Mm -hmm. And now, for instance, I traveled a great deal this year. I traveled for four and a half months. 
Heutzutage reise ich ziemlich viel. In diesem Jahr, viereinhalb Monate lang, während des besten Teils der Pilzsaison. Ich glaube, ich muss dankbar sein, dass die Menschen an meiner Arbeit früher genügend desinteressiert waren, um mir jene vielen Jahre zu schenken, in denen ich Pilze sammeln konnte. In diesem Monat drehen wir diesen Film. Ich muss ein neues Stück Musik machen. Ich habe gerade an Wesleyan University Press ein neues Buch abgeliefert. Ein neues Orchesterstück wird kopiert und ich muss die Fahnen korrigieren. I've just delivered a new book to Wesleyan yeah. and a new orchestra piece is being copied and I have to proofread it. What happened in China was that the, that the, Chinese uh, the, the country and the people were beautiful facing Mao disaster which had come to more them clear headed both from other than uh, countries some of the music which had come within socialists to say from their people activity from other Chinese to Russia and also as an if there is great numbers of the disasters Mao from flooding the rivers and their kids drought has a unique every time of so the region to China it was evident to many in China that was a very serious problem public not flooded yes periodic Mao and by slave thinking every no. Mao he thought of all the solutions would come and so from the unanimity of those who are the large base of even those higher dictators so that the people that are not not the divided as they formerly were the between the rich and the poor has been extended another point of view through Mao's he is uh, the uh, influence so that the uh, in a sense the nation bring you together the family. of the family hmm? Der I Ching, das chinesische Buch der Weisheit, arbeitet mit der Zahl 64. Ich habe eine Methode gefunden, den I Ching auf Zahlen anzuwenden, die größer oder kleiner als 64 sind, sodass ich dem I Ching jede Frage und jede Kollektion von Möglichkeiten zur Beantwortung vorlegen kann. Ich habe diese Methode computerisieren lassen und kann damit nun sehr schnell arbeiten, wobei ich den I Ching wie einen Computer benutze. When I was studying with Schoenberg one day, as he was writing some counterpoint to show the way to do it, he used an eraser. And then while he was doing this, he said, this end of the pencil is just as important as the other end. I have several times in the course of this lecture mentioned ink. Composing, if it is writing notes, is then actually writing. And the less one thinks it's thinking, the more it becomes what it is, writing. Could music be composed? I do not mean improvised, not writing it in pencil or ink. The answer is no doubt yes, and the changes in writing are prophetic. The sonatas and interludes were composed by playing the piano, listening to differences, making a choice, roughly writing it in pencil. Later this sketch.
was copied, but again in pencil. Finally, an ink manuscript was made carefully. The music of changes was composed in almost the same way, with one change. The original pencil sketch was made exactly, an eraser used whenever necessary, eliminating the need for a neat pencil copy. In the case of the imaginary landscape number four, the first step of playing the instrument was eliminated. The others kept. Music for piano was written directly in ink. That's lovely. I I had forgotten that um, that you played at the end. That's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I wasn't very precise. <laughs> but um, I I will listen to you as you did to me. I guess. Well, it's, for the most part, it's coming out. Not too much time. It means I'm too quickly. I wish I could give nice lectures like that nowadays. B, D, and B, A. Get ready on W. What would we do without W? back a little bit. Will you? Then it would be a possibility that we would have amplitude modulation DC with all four of them. Right. That's three plus one plus two plus three plus four. Well, is it impossible? No, it's not at all impossible. I have no idea what it would be like. We'll, we'll certainly Won't it try be fun? it. <laughs> we'll certainly try it. When I suggested that, I, I never, I didn't have in mind really more than, say, combining two. Uh -huh. It just never occurred to me, John, that you combine more than two. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. I'm silent right now. Oh. Yep. You want to go back to track one now? Yeah. Now we're here in the Right. Now that's the filter, right? And can I move things or not? Yes, but the, it's the top one. modulation the next modulation coming up is without filter it is 
Yeah. Ring modulation with tape BF. Warning. Go. Next change coming up is to no modulation. BF to BA. Right. Uh -huh. It's not the right one, though. Maybe I'll find it. Oh, isn't that marvelous? No, that's the... Another copy of the Sonata. Yeah. Tapes? Yeah. We did 12, about 26 minutes each in uh, two days uh -huh. with, a, with a repertoire of um, 27 <laughs> modulation. Uh -huh. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you get the rook. How do I get the rook? You just take it. With what? With the knife. Which rook? My I rook. Yes, and then I take your queen and then you take my rook. Oh, yes. Yes, but if you'd done this, what? I wouldn't have... No, then you would have checked me at the same time. Okay. It's hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. I have to give up. I resign. No, you don't resign. Isn't your name Hardy? Hi. Bye bye. We've done it. <laughs> and a good job, John. Yes. Well, I think you made a marvelous setup, and it was worked so smoothly. It worked well. Are you pleased with the sounds and everything that happened? Oh, I'm delighted, but naturally I look forward to hearing the whole thing. The whole thing together. together.
What would you think it will be the use of the film we are doing just now? Um, the Lord knows. I find that I go... Uh, is this going to be a movie or TV? TV. Well, I might see it then, because I look at the TV every now and then. <laughs> David Tudor likes the color TV, whereas I have almost the same relation to TV that I had originally to uh, art. I used to prefer the black and white in art to color. It was only, I think, through the work of Rauschenberg and Johns that I began to enjoy color. <laughs> Perhaps through the uh, constant praise of color TV on the part of David Tudor, I may become interested in color TV. <laughs> but I'm quite happy with black and white.